hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the first video of 2021 i am so happy and i'm so excited to be sharing with you guys some pretty recent information that i got and i just thought obviously i want to share it with you guys because you know like i've said before when you learn something new you got to share it and you know it's going to benefit other people keep watching if you want to know why every year that you make a new year's resolution you fail you lose motivation by the third week of january or maybe the first week of february you're already over it you're stressed out keep watching and if you do do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't also for those of you that are already subscribed i ask you to please turn on your notifications bell so you do not miss any of my videos coming 2021 i did my research and obviously i have a couple notes because you guys know i talk a lot i wrote down the main points the main reason why I wanted to do this video was because I was looking for ideas for new videos um, to bring to you guys in January. You know, January, we're all pumped. We all want the fitness videos, my health journey, the eating better, the New Year's resolution, the vision board. We all want all of those vibes, which is awesome. It truly is. But the truth about that, and as I was watching th these type of content, I realized that it's kind of fake because at the end it's like at least personally to me I'm not sure if all, obviously all these other youtubers are failing like me um, but I feel like a lot of times or every year I failed at most of my New Year's resolutions <laughs> and I just started wondering why I'm like why why do we only feel that vibe in the beginning of the year why shouldn't we feel that every day and that's what really got me to this topic which is why do we fail at our new year's resolutions why does that happen so i found a couple reasons and one it's because they're unrealistic the reason why they're unrealistic is because December 31st, you're one person and you expect to leave like 30 habits to stop doing certain stuff that you've been doing for years on January 1st. And it's kind of insane and it's not normal. Like if you actually think about it, you're like, dang, like how did I expect for myself to just stop doing this just from one day to another? It's kind of impossible to be honest. And we pressure ourselves so much and the whole world is feeling the new year new me vibe you kind of just go along with it but you start losing it because you're so stressed out and you're kind of like oh my god i just can't keep up with all these like unrealistic re new year's resolutions that is the main reason why we fell at our new year's resolutions and actually a fun fact that i learned only eight percent of americans actually make their New Year's resolutions happen. That's just, that's just crazy. And it kind of makes you, at least to me, like I said, this is like a personal problem. Maybe you've never gone through this. Maybe you're the type of person that completes every single New Year's resolution good for you. I'm jealous because I just could never do that but and maybe you're part of the eight percent but when i read that and when i found that out i felt kind of normal i was like wow it's not just to me the second reason these resolutions never really had a foundation they never really had a purpose they never really had a why like a common and a very popular new year's resolution is to lose weight to eat healthy okay well these people are why are they doing it they don't really have a foundation that's just the most common in my culture in my mexican culture i hear the same señoras the same tia the same resolution every single year in my head i am like okay but you i've heard you say this for the past three years 
why can't you get to that goal what is stopping you and the reason is because you don't have a foundation nothing is actually motivating you but those are the two reasons that i found for myself at least why i can't complete my new year's resolutions because of those two reasons now obviously because nobody wants a girl like me that just comes at you and tells you this is why you're not doing it peace out no we're not gonna do that here i am gonna give you a couple solutions to how to make your new year's resolutions work how to make them easier and how to apply them into your life these are the solutions that i found to be most helpful for me the first one is make sure make sure your resolutions have a deeper meaning so going back to the having a foundation make sure they have a deeper meaning write it down remind yourself why am i trying to lose weight why am i trying to be fit for me i've never really came in here to talk about a fitness journey because i don't have one <laughs> but a big reason why this year i actually want to be more active is for my son that that's my biggest motivation i want him to see that i went to the park with him and actually played with him i want him to see me exercise and, and remember that because when we start normalizing that in our kids lives then we'll be like oh okay yeah i do remember my mom going to the park and working out foundation to wanting to be more active this year is my son's watching me that's a big foundation that's like a big why for me because that's literally the most important thing in my life. Like, what is my son watching me doing? What is he learning from me? What is he getting in? He's seven years old. The years are flying by. And if he sees that my whole life, I'm just a lazy mom, he's going to remember that. And I'm going to I'm gonna hate myself for it. And I'm going to feel really sad about it. That can be your motivation if you're a mom, if you're a senora, if you're a father. So the second solution that I found is to make smaller resolutions. Instead of... Instead of me saying, I, every single day I'm gonna get up and my son's gonna watch me be active. No, I'm gonna say, okay, let me do this for January. So in January, I plan to be, I plan to be active Monday through Friday. I plan that after Zoom, I will be taking my son to the park just January, maybe after January comes and I'm writing down my February goals, my son's gonna even remind me oh my gosh are we going to the park i'm gonna actually realize how fun it was to be at the park with my son and then i'm gonna write it down and it's gonna motivate me because i actually got somewhere and then on top of that if i see our changes positive changes in my body i'm gonna i'm gonna be like wow i want more of these kind of changes in my body and i'm gonna go ahead and put this in my february goals you get me so making smaller resolutions always well, not always, this is the first year I'm doing this. <laughs> but that just seems like way less stress, you know? It's like if you say, oh, I'm not gonna eat chips this, this whole year. It's like, oh my gosh, I would stress out and literally go buy a big ass bag of chips. Like, that's me, that's something I would do. So it's better to just say, maybe weekly, however, whatever works better for you, weekly or monthly. Plan them well. If you're doing them weekly like I am, make sure you have a plan. Okay, when am I gonna be active? Right after my son's Zoom meeting. Make sure you put it in your calendar. Make sure you make sure the day before you remind yourself, oh, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the park and work out at this time. Plan them well. The other one is have confidence. Confidence is everything. If you don't come at your goals and if you don't come at 2021 with the best confidence, you're going to fail. Walking out with that confidence, like today I'm going to conquer my, my goals. Today I'm going to do the best I can. Confidence is a huge part of accomplishing your goals. Try new techniques. If you've been like me for the past five years or even more making the same resolutions and they're not working out for you try new techniques these are the things that have are helping me out right now and i really hope they help you out because yeah that's what i'm here for i just want to be of help in your life thank you so much for listening and watching this whole video if you got to the end thank you so so much i love you guys so much happy new year's happy 2021 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!